local animal lover is looking for answers tonight after she found her pet goat had been killed. Now we've blurred the photo of this bizarre, deadly injury, but there's a clean, almost surgical slice down the goat's neck and back, and its owner can't figure out who or, or what did this. Cassie Foote spoke with her today. Cassie, nothing really makes sense here. Right, and the owner is beyond confused yeah. and really upset. Gilligan the goat was part of her family, mm -hmm. and pet owners can understand. But tonight, the lack of what she found near his body just doesn't add up. They say a dog is a man's best friend, but Debbie Haycraft knows any animal can be part of the family. And if one needs help, she's your lady. Albino raccoon, a golden eagle, a sawwit owl that's about that big. Those are some of the exotics, several skunks. Haycraft spent years rescuing animals. And other little wildlife like that and welcoming them to her North Valley home. This is Blue, because he has blue eyes. This is Tippy, because he has a tip on his tail, and that's Pipsqueak, because he's the smallest. Aww. So Tippy, Blue, and Pipsqueak. But now her three pet goats are missing their beloved fourth playmate, Gilligan. I found him on a Saturday morning when I came out to feed, and his back of his neck was cut from the base of his head basically down the top of his neck to his shoulder blades. Pictures of the wound show a deep, clean slice. What she didn't find was just as alarming. There was no marks on the body, there was no bite marks, there was no claw marks, and there was no blood. And no footprints or paw prints. I was baffled. She sent photos to a vet who suggested a mountain lion attack. But again, no other injuries and no blood. Not a drop anywhere. She called her neighbors to help investigate. They think a human had to have made the cut. Correct? Yes, and it was very, very deep and very clean. But people on social media had other ideas after Haycraft posted the mystery looking for help. Aliens, the chupacabra, the satanic rituals, that's a, maybe how something to do with the loss of blood. I don't know exactly, but it's all speculation. She says without answers, she's afraid for her other animals. I'm nervous for my baby dogs. I come out with them at night. I take a flashlight. I don't let them out here in the dark. And I check on the goats as well. So yeah, it's a little unsettling. And hopes someone will come forward to help solve the mysterious death of Gilligan. It's upsetting. It's, it's very upsetting. And I love my animals. So yeah, it was hard. Haycraft says she also called the sheriff's office to report what happened. Yeah. She says they did listen to her story over the phone, but they never came out to take a report or anything. Mm -hmm. She says she would feel a lot better knowing what happened to Gilligan. So if you have any ideas, feel free to reach out and comment on this story at KOB.com. Yeah, it's truly bizarre. It All is. right, Cassie, thank you for that.